you can see, everything's a little bit chaotic right now. And that's because the guy I got the GT off of, 65, my dad's little car. It's uh, not in the best of health. As you can see, I got a lot of parts here. And now I did pick up my dad's old engine that was in the 65. It was still in his uh, guy's garage whenever, from when he took it out because it smoked. Well, I know the story on that. And uh, i tell you the story about the 65 another time, but I got the 455 back and the 50, 507, 508. Split duration cam, 108 LSA. That was a daily driver. I'm going to change a few things up on it later, but right now, you can see the chaos. Um, I got another set of 4X heads here, 51s, a 7400 block. Uh, what was that? I looked up the numbers. It's a 389. It's either out of 65 or 66 PTO. I can't remember right now. The guy that owned all this was. Almost a lot, well, a lot for me, a lifelong family friend. For him and my dad, when my dad was still around, they were best friends since the 70s. So it's a little disheartening, it's a lot disheartening, honestly. But he gave me these to basically save them from going to the dump or wherever. And y'all know me, it's Pontiac, I'm going to save it. What I'm going to do with it all, I have no idea. Because I've already got that loaded with Pontiac parts. And I have to make room so that the wife doesn't get upset. I might have to sell a few things. It's not a big deal to me, though. Um, yeah, I'll, fi I'll figure it out, you know. I don't want any of this to go to waste. Aftermarket forged pistons over there, and like I said, it, it's good stuff. 7400 block, a 389 out of a GTO. I need to date code it again. I remember looking up the block numbers and all that. That's, but yeah, it's not trash. <laughs> so, I think all that was wrong with the 7400 was the cam bearings in it, and you can tell the cam bearings are still in it, and they're seen better days. So. Uh, I need to get this cleared out and then take care of the stuff out back still because, man, it's going to be a headache. And as much as I hate to do it, neighbor of mine down the street, around the block, this is Z28. He, uh, he has some old wheels and tires he's getting rid of. They're... they're their Camaro rallies or whatever, you know? And, uh, I don't want to put Chevrolet wheels on there because I got the rallies, but the tires are old, but there's no cracking, plenty of tread left, perfect rollers. As you can see, the GTO is already completely flat. It didn't take long to go flat. They're not staying up. Those tires are the same tires on there when my dad had it. They don't hold air anymore. I need rollers. Now, um, spoiler alert, the Craigers are Unilug and going on the Bonneville. Because they're rusted up, they'll match the patina on the Bonneville. And when I get this car running, I'm going to put new Craigers on it. But, you know, you can see here, there's two more, seven and eights. Two of them are factory originals and the eights are not. They're repop Craigers, but no big deal. There's a ton of tread left on them. No dry rotting, no cracking. These are gonna hold air and allow me to move the 65 around when I need to move it around because it's not gonna, this is not its permanent spot. I gotta move some things around, take care of some things, probably sell some things, and it is gonna get under a carport no matter what. One thing out of the way, at least. And thus, the chaos begins. As you can see, there is one now. We're gonna have to do this four more times. All right, so here's part of the chaos. 
that dodge y'all have been seeing i've been working on it come find out it has a bad cam and a bad lifter hey not sure i want to do anything with it so there's the 70 dto and the 70 le mans three more to go uh, you have to rearrange everything and started kind of pulling some stuff out of there and need to see what this car really looks like just need some wd-40 i guess oh man there's just so much going on right now not a bad car though uh so you gotta figure out how to get three more in here so i'm just gonna put the red dodge and the gray dodge over there that way they can drive in and out and put the rest of the pontiacs over there and find buyers so here's the 70 gto that was brought in yeah, Brian helping me underneath the car. He's, he's trying to turn it over by hand and break it loose. This car has been off the road since 1999. And uh, we want to see if the 400 fires up. It is the original 400. I do the honors. Oh, yeah, she's only good. Yeah, just a little bit. The carburetor needs rebuilt. All right, here's another one here that's got to go in the back. And here we are. This is utter chaos. You know, but the more I look at these cars, the worse they look because just keep finding stuff wrong with them. But they've set for a while, you know. They have set for a while. You know, so it is what it is. The glass for this is actually in the trunk of that one. That's cool. That is cool. The Granville, the engine's in it. It's cool. Le Mans Sport. And this is the Le Mans. But you know, these cars have been sitting a long time, so you know there's issues. Like that everywhere so you know they're trying to come to my house and live here hey look full interior in this one neat huh a little messy a little messy that's an old can it's like the old logo That's been there a while. Let's just uh, check some of these out. Because, you know. Oh, seems okay so far. A little leopard print steering wheel. There is an engine in it. The hood don't want to open. There well. Okay. No nest. Interior's all there. I don't feel like opening the hood, but you know. Oh. Hundred and some, hundred and one thousand miles or something like that. Okay, not bad. Not too bad. Oh yeah, I left the window up on this one. Oops. See down there, the engine's not doing so well on this one. Yeah, this one's kind of nasty. But you know, they're builders. They are builders. Oh yeah, there's another nest. Another nest, look at that. Gotta try to target it before it becomes too much of a problem. Yeah. 
Yep, now I gotta get these cleaned up and all that good stuff. You, you know, make it look half presentable so that, uh, yeah, I can deal with them later. Guess I'm just gonna start here and see what it starts looking like because, you know, it's either gonna blow Bondo and paint off or just this stuff. I can see that one looks a lot better. This one looks better. Now I gotta sell them before I can do anything else. I need to get these out of the way. I can get rid of the red Dodge workbench. And uh, the 2010 Dodge, I gotta go find a cam for it and put a new cam in it. Then, I should be able to get back to the Bonneville, the Pontiac truck, Probably sell the 64 GTO. Yeah, I know. And then, uh, start the 65. So, yeah. And the 68. I really need to do both of those. So, yeah. This is my chaos. It's a lot of cars to deal with right now. <laughs> Thanks for watching.